Stay with the focus on local government for a moment, shall we? After marking his 100 days in office this week, the Central Karoo Mayor, Gaten McKenzie, is trying to solicit investment again, and members of his party are standing by to benefit. Residents of Beaufort West say they are cautiously optimistic about the party's governance style, but 100 days is not enough to judge their delivery. Mackenzie has today held meetings with prospective business people who want to invest in the central Karuo and hopes he can help them secure a deal. Here's ENCA's Govan Whittles with that story. Gator McKenzie has completed 100 days in office as the mayor of the Central Karoo, and on his 101st day, he's soliciting business and investments into the economy of Beaufort West. Outside his office, a long line of business owners has formed, most of them hoping to get a business meeting with McKenzie and pitch him a business proposal for investment in the Karoo. Let's talk to some of these business owners here and find out why they'd like to come to Beaufort West and the Karoo and what draws them to Gaten McKenzie. The first one is Mr. Lee Doyle. He's a telecommunications business owner. Mr. Doyle, thank you so much for your time. So why do you want to meet with Gaten McKenzie? So one thing that we've noticed is uh, the vision that he shares about people is what we're passionate about. And we currently have a business running in the Eldorado Park community, providing affordable internet to the community. And I think that just ties in with what he's doing uh, in his communities around here. It's, it's to bridge the gap uh, when it comes to digital exclusion is to get people online, and that is what we're passionate about. What, what about this meeting uh, or the Central Karoo or Beaufort West makes business sense? What's the return on investment here? So we do very affordable internet. We've mastered the art of affordable infrastructure as well, where some of the biggest guys spends millions and millions and millions on, on infrastructure. We've brought the cost down significantly. Our companies lean, we can make quick decisions, quick moves, and obviously that impacts on the bottom line, that impacts on the cost to customers. So our customer acquisition is much cheaper, our subscription could be much cheaper. And it's, it sounds like you could do business anywhere. Why would you want to do business here, and why would you want to do business with McKenzie? Because, like I said, we, we've been drawn in by his vision. I, I, I can't deny it. It's, it's, it's like a magnet. The weekend has been amazing. People have seen things on TV. It doesn't do justice to the atmosphere that is here. So it's just about the passion. It's just about the people. It's about his vision. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Lee Doyle, another business owner, someone who's running an NGO working with reformed prisoners. And this, of course, being a big part of the PA strategy uh, to try and create second chances for those people coming out of jail. Kate McKenzie yesterday calling for the government to start employing ex-prisoners and saying that opportunities in the private sector are slim and this will help uh, stop them from going back into jail. One of these uh, organizations is Prison, Prison Dent. It's run by Mr. Um, Brian Davids. Uh, Mr. Davids, your organization works with reformed prisoners and you've just come out of a meeting with, with Gaten McKenzie. What was it about and what kind of help did he give you? Uh, what we tell him is that um, we want to make sure that he reaches goals. And as an ex-offender, I believe a lot of offenders can learn from what he achieved. A lot of offenders can learn from what Nelson Mandela achieved. Most of people go in better, but they come out better. And Gaten McKenzie is one of those that came out better instead of going in better. But he certainly does have a lot of support, especially um, in the correctional centers as well. What role does your organization play and how does it relate to the PA? Um, overcrowding is at the current moment a big problem. So it's difficult to do programs where we have to look into security first. Remember, security and uh, rehabilitation to go together. But probably currently the moment is given to security. What but, but what is uh, prison then doing for the but, PA? But prison then is doing uh, currently on the moment. It's like um, at the moment the offenders have the uh, Fundam Zanzi program whereby they want to read and, and spelling. And we tell them that's exactly one to one. If you do that, then you are about to reintegrate. We don't want you to be released because then you will be with a temporary outside and go back. But if you are reintegrated, that means you are resourced, you're stronger, you're better, and if you know better, you will do better. But we're going to do the so crime. Much. Mr. Brian Davids, I, I think we are out of time. 
is Mr. Brian Davis. These are the organizations that are affiliated to the PA. And coming out of meetings with Katie McKenzie, they'll be looking for opportunities not only to partner up, um, but also to do business with them uh, here in the Central Karoo. And we'll keep speaking to people in the Central Karoo to get their feedback on what they think of Gator McKenzie and also what the future holds for residents here with prospective businesses coming in. Govan Whittles, Beaufort West.